on Tuesday, Bomarito Automotive Group's Guy Fox showed you a flooded out area near Washington Avenue and 13th Street from a water main break. Residents at the Warehouse 7 Lofts had to evacuate because of the damage. All new at 6, Fox 2's Michaela McGee looks at how some have been left with nowhere to go. Nisi Lyons and her son, Jalen, woke up in their apartment at Warehouse 7 Lofts Tuesday morning thinking everything was normal. Little did they know, a few hours later, a water main break would leave them struggling to find a place to live. There wasn't a lot of communication to instruct us what was going on. Water flooded the back alley, pouring into underground parking garages, cutting off power, and releasing diesel fuel from generators. We went back. We were really going to try to rough it out. We had no idea what was going on. But by that time, the fumes from the diesel gas that had got released from the flooding in the basement from the generators had just consumed the building. And so we left figuring that, you know, this was not inhabitable. And sure enough, we found out as soon as we left that the fire department had came and evacuated the building. Nisi's car, along with other vehicles, were completely submerged underwater. Warehouse 7 lofts, just one of the four residential properties where tenants dealt with the water problem. It's one thing to be displaced. It's one thing to have to try to find, t you know, temporary or permanent housing. But the problem is, is that everybody is, you know, will have to start from literally ground zero. In and out of hotel rooms, trying to find new housing, Nisi and Jalen also had to board their new puppy at the Tri-City Animal and Bird Clinic until they figure it out. It definitely was something that we had to do primarily because we just couldn't keep them. You know, some we have to focus on our housing situation, our car situation, grades. Nisi hopes the city will take this water main break as a wake up call. Again, with the infrastructure and the faulty system, and it's just really crumbling beneath us. There's been sinkholes. I remember the car that literally just fell into the ground um, close to the culinary on the Olive. There have been so many things, so many red flags. Um, to let them know that so many things should be done. You wake up and a couple hours later, you're being evacuated from your home, finding out that you are essentially, you know, homeless, dare I say it. So it's, it's stressful, it's just confusing. Um, there are no words to say other than help. Reporting downtown, I'm Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.